What is going on everyone, it's me Marco from Gadget Experts taking a look at the Samsung Galaxy S2 Skyrocket for AT&T. This is actually one of the first of the two 4G LTE devices to come on AT&T's network. This is actually the Samsung Galaxy S2 variant that has 4G LTE from AT&T. It's actually a very, very similar phone to the Samsung Galaxy S2 because it still has the 4.5 inch display, Super AMOLED Plus that actually has a very, very fast upgraded processor from the uh, so from most of the other Galaxy S2 phones, and it also has built-in 4G LTE from AT&T. So some, some specs about the phone here is it has a 4.5 inch display, it is Super AMOLED Plus, and that it has a resolution of 800 by 480, you know, regular WVGA uh, res there. It does have a front-facing 2 megapixel camera for video calling and Skype calling. It's actually a very good quality camera. You have your four Android buttons on the bottom here. On the left side, you do have your volume rocker. On the right side, you do have a on lock switch. On the top, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. And on the bottom, you do have a micro USB for charging and data syncing as well. Um, so some really cool characteristics about this phone. It actually has a 1.5 Exynos dual core chip in here. It's kind of like Snapdragon S3. Some people wanted to call it that. It's actually a very, very, very fast phone here. Uh, it also has one gigabyte full of RAM here. So it's a very, very PC-like, very, very fast. And also comes preloaded with Android 2.3.5, the newest and latest version of Android Gingerbread there. It also comes with TouchWiz 4.0 here. Let me just, you know, let me grab this down here and delete it. Cool. So um, I actually do not live in a 4G LTE area from at and I'm actually going to be going to an area of 4G LTE here uh, next week. So I'll definitely do some tests over there as well. Uh, so let's go ahead and just jump in to a couple of the uh, features on the home screen. Let me first, first, you know, get this brightness up here so you guys can see what I'm talking about. There we go. Cool. So uh, let's go ahead and go to the applications menu and we'll see all the applications that come preloaded with this. I haven't added anything here. So you have all share, all the Samsung things. You also have a couple of AT&T applications. You got my AT&T for your account, voice recorder. Uh, Yellow Pages is a, uh, I, f I believe it's a uh, AT&T sponsored thing, but not that many um, actual junk bloatware that comes with a lot of other devices here. Let's go ahead and jump into the web here. Um, and I'm currently running on a Wi-Fi network just because I don't have excellent service where I am right now. I actually only got about a bar, so that would take forever. Um, so here is GadgetExperts.net. This is actually the full website. It's loaded on Wi-Fi. You can go and put it in landscape mode. And you guys can see, I mean, it's very, very responsive. The 1.5 gigahertz processor here is a very, very quick processor. And the gigabyte of RAM can handle it like there's no tomorrow. Um, it's really one of the most responsive Android phones I've ever used, other than the other Galaxy S2 devices that we've used here as well. Um, and let's actually uh, go to a little bit more of an intensive website like IGN.com. That has a lot of flash content and it has a lot of content to load up here. And of course, it load up the mobile website first. So let's go ahead and go to full website. Continue to IGN.com. Yes, please. That's the whole purpose of it. <laughs> and there we go. Cool. So IGN, it's loading up. I think it's. I think this is uh, Skyrim now. Yep, Skyrim. Cool. So it loads it up pretty good here. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, let's go ahead and just jump out of here first, and we'll go straight into the uh, software portion of it. Now, a um, really cool thing about 2.3.5, it is a very, very quick uh, UI here. And there's a little bit more updates to the actual uh, notification center and how that works. Is uh, There's a lot more, uh, on, on previous Android phones anyways, 2.3.5 brings in a less cluttered notification system. So if you get a lot of text messages and emails, it definitely goes... Um, it's all threaded now, um, and it's actually a very excellent system of keeping track of all your notifications. It's always been an excellent system. Um, so let's go ahead and just jump into the camera here, and we'll show you. This has a full 8 megapixel camera sensor on the back. It also has about 2, uh, two megapixel camera on the front. So let's go take a picture of uh, here. I have a, a little, little uh, flexible tripod here, and we'll take a picture. Cool. 
and it also takes full 1080p video as well. Um, and we'll take a quick sample here. Alright, and now we are recording in full 1080p on the Samsung Galaxy S2 Skyrocket for AT&T. Cool, so took that video here and we'll go and play it back. Samsung Galaxy S2 Skyrocket for AT&T. I mean, pretty damn good uh, video quality there, so nothing to complain about as well. Um, and then for, just from some speed tests, I've actually looked around the different websites here like Engadget and Gizmodo, and they've been getting around 17 to 21 megabits a second. Um, I've actually heard of some reports of 55 megabits a second. I'm not sure um, how, how they got that. Don't ask me. I promise that is probably one of the most rare things to ever see here. I mean, unless no one's using it, and then maybe you can get 55 megabits a second there. Um, but let me actually go ahead and pop off the battery cover here. I want to show you guys. It's actually the same SIM card uh, type. So, I'll show you the 4G in here. And I guess there is no 4G branding on the SIM card. I thought there was. All right. So it does actually have a 1500 milliamp hour battery. Now the thing with the battery life on this phone is uh, it's it's not good. Um, just to say at the at the best there, it's not good. I have to reboot the phone here real quick. Um, the really cool, the really worst thing about the worst thing about this device is not having a 4G button where I can't go in here and turn off 4G like all the other Sprint phones, like the Epic 4G, the um, the Evo 4G. They all have 4G buttons just because if you don't live in a 4G area, why use all your battery life trying to find 4G when there's not 4G? Um, that's definitely one of the biggest complaints I've heard, and that's one of my biggest complaints about this phone is not having a 4G button, and that really devastates your battery life there. I mean, I I probably only once I've had one full day of battery with this thing because it's always looking for 4G. Sometimes I can find it, sometimes I can't. Maybe it's just lying to me because I know for a fact that I don't have the best 4G out here. So um, definitely if there's a software update, include that 4G button to turn it on and turn it off because one, AT&T will have full 4G everywhere until 2013. That's two years away or a year, year uh, a year. Um, so, I mean, really the phone is one of the best phones I've ever used in terms of a Galaxy S uh, device or either just a Samsung Android device. It's one of the best ones I've ever seen, one of the best ones I've used. And it's a little bit chunkier, it's a little bit thicker because the 4G LTE radio from, a uh, from AT&T. Um, just again, that battery life needs to be improved. They either, you know, make an extended battery or just have a simple software update where you can turn on and off 4G. That's definitely in order, I hope, from Samsung um, in the near future there. Now, again, it's me, Marco, from Gadrax, for the Samsung Galaxy S2 4G LTE Skyrocket from AT&T. $249.99 on a two-year contract. And, I mean, it's a pretty good phone. It's a little on the expensive side. The 4G isn't everywhere. It's only in a handful of cities right now. And the battery life is kind of weak there. Uh, again, it's me, Marco, from Gadget Experts, and I'll see you guys next time.